day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Ten. Hey, everybody. Hey, God bless you. I uh, hope you're still staying safe. Uh, right now, this is the 30th of May. Uh, and and we, we did see that tragedy concerning the, uh, uh, the uh, death of uh, Mr. Floyd, where the uh, police uh, stood on his neck until he, he died. And right now, there's protests going throughout the, uh, the country. Um, and that's 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 something that 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 we definitely got to keep in prayer. Uh, people are just frustrated. Uh, this is a stream of systemic issues and and pent up issues, and also dealing with the virus at the same time. Uh, there was some good news today that the, uh, uh, the space X successfully launched and uh, into into uh, out, out of space. Uh, that that was a positive for the day, uh, but at the same time, the the riots are going on and people' homes are being burned, and uh, and then how how many people can be affected by this virus because of the close connection, close proximity? Uh, that that's talking about with the police as well as with the protesters. I mean, they really yelling and getting into the, each other's face and. And based on understanding this virus is you know, it, airborne and, and, you know, now they're talking about when you speak loud, uh, that thing is projecting up to 10 feet or more. Uh, so it is, it's just ugly all the way around. And then all the businesses that are being destroyed, people destroying their own neighborhoods. Uh, this, this is the time for prayer. This is the time for prayer. Uh, you know, we had put down before and, and one of the scriptures that uh, I was looking at, that's just, just, we got to pray. You know that one we did was back in Isaiah. And I, I was reading that one in Isaiah chapter, I think it was uh, 6. Isaiah 6. And, and it was, it still may, gives a ring of tone that if we don't watch out, uh, it, we we have some problems. This is one in Isaiah six. It was very. I read it eight through uh, twelve in that, and and, and it's talking about send me. Uh, and I'll read this to you. I'll read this to you right now. It was saying in a verse six. It says in Isaiah chapter six, verse eight. And also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, "Whom shall I send, and who will go for us?" Then said I, "Here am I." send me and he said go and tell this people hear you indeed but understand not and see you indeed but perceive not and that's what's going on even with this virus and, and this, this even the protests and even the, the, the senseless killing they see but they perceive not they perceive not the fact that the satan come to steal kill and destroy what we saw in this whole sequence there's the death more death, there's this looting, which is stealing, and then there's destruction of property. That's all the works and the, 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 the trademark of Satan that's going on, you know? And they, but people not perceiving that it's the enemy who's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. Verse 10, make the heart of this people fat. Oh, and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and, and, and they hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Valors and hate only multiplies. Love is the answer. And I know people sitting there saying, I, I can't love them. I'm telling you something, hate only multiplies. You give hate, you, it multiplies. It it, it's just almost like the virus itself. It just spreads. 
from one person to the next because of hate. And I, I mean, come on, guys, uh, just pray. I'm telling you, and I know some people say, well, well, that's all you can do is you're going to go out there and stop them yourself. Pray. And, and it says right here in the verse 11, it said, Then said I, Lord, how long? He answered, until the cities be wasted. You know, we read that before. We read that a couple of slides before. I mean, a couple of videos before. Where, and, and look at this. Until the cities be wasted with inhabitants, and the houses with man, and the land is utterly desolate. If, if we don't pray, if we don't get it under control, we lead into destruction. Verse 12, and the Lord have removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. Come on, y'all. Think about it. And, 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 and it's not to provoke one another, but, but to learn to heal. We have to heal. And hopefully something good, something good will come out of this. I know that much. But we, we have to let that healing process start. And the divorce has been heard. The, 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 the valid complaint has been made. The, the, the crime has been seen and perceive it, but, but they go further until you wear it out, until you get to the point where your anger uh, drowns out the whole purpose of this thing, which is justice. You know, people say justice, <laughs> no justice, no peace. Well, I mean, if you sitting there bringing it, you can't bring, you can't do injustice to get justice. So we already see that there's injustice. Let's now focus on the justice by praying and, and, and letting the system work its way out now. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna come out good in the end. But we gotta stop the rioting. We gotta start loving one another, and praying for one another. You know, and one of the things, and this this is part D of the video, was talking about the fact is that he knows your name. And God knows the name of everybody's out there right now that's sitting there protesting and so forth. He knows your name. He knows the man that was killed. He knows the man who killed him. And 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 and, and maybe, you know, back up on that, he may not know him. <laughs> Cause you know there's that scripture say, I never knew you. If you if you hate. God said there's no part of him in you. you know, hate may feel like something, feel good, but in the end, you know, if you're not connected to God, which is love, then you, 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 you're off base. So let's learn to love one another. Um, and, and, and one of the things is we read in Matthew, going into this particular part, is uh, Matthew 10, verse 26. Um, and that's where it starts off. The whole title is about uh, have no fear. Uh, and one of the things I keyed into that verse 29 of that, Matthew 10, verse 29, are not two sparrows sold for farting, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But verse 30 says, but the very hair of your head are all numbered. You know, we, we, we talk about that and going into the video, see his hand is that the, the significance of the hair if he knows the number of hair on your head, look how important you are and valuable to him. He knows and cares about you. That's why he wants to know you and, and for you to know him. He loves us. And, and we want to get to the point where he gets to know him, you. We you know we start over that scripture in Philippians 10, um, what is it, 10? I think it's 10, 13, 10, Philippians 3, 10. He said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering made him conform unto his death. The thing is that we want to know the power of God, but understand that the fellowship of his suffering, we're seeing the suffering and, and we're fellowshipping in that suffering, but it's the power of God is going to deliver us. So I really want you to listen to this video and I really want you to understand God knows your name. God heard the cry of that young man. And, and the person who did has been arrested. And the other people will be arrested. And maybe they get attention of other people who sit there and allow injustice to occur in front of them to say, uh-uh, no, brother, I ain't going to jail for you. 
I'm talking about if you're a police officer you're sitting there and you see another police officer doing something bad, you're gonna say, no, I ain't gonna do this. I'm not, I am not participating in illegal activities. I will arrest you if you violate the law. That's what I think we're gonna get to. That's what's gonna come out of it. Because people, it's a lot of good officers out there. We're trying to serve and protect the citizens. And, and now they get in the city and say, look, I want to protect my buddy, but if my buddy's going to stay, step out of bounds and he doesn't heed to my calling to say stop, then that officer now knows he's obligated to do what needs to do to enforce the laws. So hopefully that will come out of it. Believe and trust in that. And don't, don't let it, don't let our, don't let the protest and they, they do the Friday drown out the message and the answer. We're tired of it. And we gotta sit there and let the system work now. I think they, I'm pretty sure they heard you. I heard you. <laughs> and I know they hear you. And I think something good will good, good coming out of it. All right? So remember, God knows your name. Pray. Get to know him. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you next time. Amen? God bless. Bye-bye. Was the, uh, uh, I think it's called a fiery. I'm thinking about Meshach and Shadrach. Oh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And Abednego. Yeah. Right? Yes. And I think it's a fiery furnace, I guess it was. I, I can't even pronounce it. Spell it right. Fiery furnace. Let me put fiery. I think I can get close to it. Because the reason I want to, because I'm telling you, I'm keying off of what you, that scripture. Yeah. And, you know, I'm being led to. to yeah, because, I mean, they, they, they were on the same boat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If he promised. <laughs> he did. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and 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 that that that's that's staggering not at the promises of God. Right, right. Them dudes believe that God is fully able. Come on. Come on. And 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 I like him saying this and, uh Look, it, that's why I'm gonna throw this in here. Let me see if I okay. can, I got it. I got the scripture because I, I want that that helps out yeah. our part of saying sometimes uh, it may not happen. Yeah. But but I'm I know he's able. See you see I'm see I'm what I keyed into was he is able. Yeah. Are you with me? He yeah. is, I, it, it may, maybe he may not want to do this for this right here. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. But 18. I know he's able. Yeah. But I, I like, I like 18 too. It, that, that just goes right along with it. But if not. If that's the point, I want to yes. known unto you, O King, <laughs> that we will not serve thy God. Come on. <laughs> Nor Come worship on. the golden image which thou hast said. Come on now. Did, did you, you read, read, uh, why don't you read 16, 17, then 18? Yeah. So it says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O, Neb o Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this manner. That sounds like a staggering knot on me. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. we ain't careful to do this. this. This is just how it is. <laughs> this ain't, this ain't going to be a political correct. Yeah. This ain't yeah. going to be. We, this, <laughs> We're not going to sit up here and tarry on this and try and figure a way out of it. This is just how it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> oh, You're talking. You're talking. <laughs> he said, if it be so. If it be so. Our God. If it be so. If it be so. Come on. If, if it's God's will. Uh-huh. Our God, whom we serve, is Come able on, to man. deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. Yes, sir. Come on. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, okay? <laughs> Come on now. Come Now he's talking. <laughs> they're talking to someone who owns them. <laughs> yes, sir. It had all the power. Yeah. Yeah. And it did, like you said, it, but if not, and I think that's the key on that stagnant knot. Yes. But if not, Yes. He had known unto the old king that we would not serve thy gods. We we will not worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Yeah. Huh? And I'm mm. just saying this when we when we when we when because the whole purpose of the devil and the enemies and the servant that goes along with it is to get them to follow him. I get right. I want you to follow, I want you to, I want you to break off of this commitment. 
-hmm. this path and, and, and go another path, right? Yeah. Uh, and either worship yourself or, or worship something else, you know, uh, worship it. Yeah. He tried to it's deal a, with Jesus. It's, it's a form of authority in this physical realm that they yes, get. Yes, sir. It, they they have no power. No. They 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 can they can try to persuade. Did yes, sir. That's all they try to do. And that's all they can do. And if they persuade, then the power that we have is used by them. Yes, sir. Their their, their power has been stricken. They they have no power. No. No authority. No. Unless it's given them. Exactly. Exactly. Not in this physical realm. And, and, and I think that's the same thing that he tried to do for all of the people because he did it right here's Matthew in the temptation of Jesus. Yeah. A, a similar situation, you know, because at least he, he even asked Jesus to do it. He, he, yeah. he told him, he said, he said, I'm going to say verse eight, I think. He took him, and again, the devil took him up to a scene the high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the yeah. glory of them. And said unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt bow down and worship me. Yes. And that's the same thing that Shadrach and Meshach, Abednego, and all of them had to deal with. Exact they, same they, thing. They said, they said, I, I, I'm not careful in answering this. I am not careful in answering this. <laughs> I know that yeah. our God. <laughs> is able. Come yeah. on, brother. Is able to deliver us from this. And if not, we still won't bow down and worship you. Yeah. That's called to me another good example of being fully persuaded. Huh? And even Jesus had then said, <laughs> look, Jesus, this this almost that statement right there, get the hints. Yeah. It's similar to we ain't careful in answering this. We're gone now. Get that's what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> he said this not this not gonna be a question here. We're not this not gonna be, I'm not gonna we're not careful in this matter. I'm not Jesus said I am not careful in this matter either. Yeah. Satan. What some of the translators say, get thee behind me, right? But the bottom line, he's sitting there saying this, it but here's the part about being fully persuaded, and I think Abraham was saying it too, because Abraham was in a covenant with God. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he knew what was in the covenant. God and Jesus in there saying is, you given us, because this is all written as an example too, was written. And he said it's written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him, him only, only shall thou serve. <laughs> and, 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 you know, that, it, by putting the word serve in there, that is some people would say, I ain't asked you to bow down to me. Mm -hmm. But I do want you to serve me. I, I, do, I do want you to do what I tell you to do. Huh? Uh, yeah. I, I do want you to, to forsake anything else and do what I tell you to do. Well. Mm. I'm telling you, brother. So we go back to your Roman. I want, I want it because I just want it. I think it's a, it's a valid statement, and it begs an answer mm -hmm. of how to get there. And I and I like the fact is with Meshach and Re Me who knows, Abednego and Shadrach yeah. and Abednego is the fact is they said is look, I know he's able. That's why. That's what you see why I keep I keep I keyed in on that. Yeah. He is able to perform it. Yes. And the stagger not is, if he don't, I'm still not going to worship anybody. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah, that, I mean, it's, it's just how it is. It's just, <laughs> it's when, uh, when these attacks on, come on my body, you know. Come on now. And. You know, at, at a point when, when, when this congestive heart failure first came, mm -hmm. I would go straight to the emergency room. Come on. You know, if I felt like uh, I was having a heart attack, if I had any chest pain, yes, sir. any arrhythmia or anything, straight there. Uh -huh. Then, you know, I began to realize, you know, God delivered me from this. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, and, and my trust is in him and in him only. It's not in these physicians. Now, I mean, granted, I'm not stupid. You know, if 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 I if there's something that that just persists and it just gets worse and worse and worse, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the attack comes and my mind tries to go back, man, you might want to go, but then immediately it's overridden that no, my trust is in God. I believe that I was healed right. by his stripes. So I am healed if I was healed, and I'm just believing God. Now, on, if now. this is time mm -hmm. for me to go, then it's just that time. Yeah. But yeah. I believe that I am healed and that God, God's protecting me. Come on. And that this isn't that time. And I'm not, I, I mean, and it just overrides all that. And then the 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 attack just abates. Exactly. You know? and, and I think it goes into that part of back back what came to my mind when you said that is I'll go if I'm led to go. Yes. But the key to it is is he leading me? And I, yes. I and Mike, the key of, of uh, growing in faith is to to train my my spirit to hear what he's saying. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And as long as I can hear what he says, because that's what Jesus said, I don't do nothing except what the Father has told me and showed told me. me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. If he told me to go, because I he used anything to do what he wants done. Mm. He he can use and anoint the doctor. He can use and anoint the, the the nursing staff, the hospital staff. He can anoint the medicine. He can he can he can do with or without it. Yeah, I'd say. I mean, if God can use a donkey. Come on. <laughs> what Come can on. he use? Come on. What can that's he use? That's you know, so so that's just how it is with me. And 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 I just I just believe. Mm -hmm. I, I just believe. I mean I, I I uh my faith is there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's these ain't stories to me. This this is my life. It's a reality. It's a spiritual reality. That's why you're talking about the renewing of the mind. Yeah. Uh, and the fact is that, Lord, I, I mean, I, I just like that part about he's able to perform it. Yeah. So so it's telling me that he will perform it. He's able to perform it. And if not, I still will worship him instead of worshiping that which wants me to worship it. You know, man, yeah. you know, there's some doctors that want to sit there and say, I healed you. Really? No, you didn't. You really? practiced on me. That's you what you did. On me. That's what you <laughs> did. You practiced on me. You practiced, and and then God, God did the healing. Yes, sir. You didn't. They, they did. They didn't. They didn't grow that the, the, themselves back together. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They they may have sewn some stuff together, but they didn't make it men. They did. God did that exactly. And I think you know, that's why God was leading you to deal with this scripture today. Uh, or you've been working with it, you know, and meditating on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, 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 I mean, it snatched me up. It, yeah. it really did. Yeah. And, and I'm like, I, I have to, to, to understand that. Mm -hmm. That at all costs. Yeah. That if God said it, Mm -hmm. He is able to perform it, so there should be, there, sh there should be no hesitation. He's None. able. There yes. should be no no disagreement. Yes. There shouldn't be any any. I mean, there, I know that there are thoughts that well, you know, the enemy brings in. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I mean, it's just obvious. Even Jesus talked about the sower sowing. Come on. You know, I mean, he's there. He exists. Yes, sir. I mean, he was there with Christ. And he was oh. trying to, he was trying to uh, steal the word from him. You yeah. know, that's just amazing. Yeah, so, I like that. Yeah, you jumped to that. That's a, yeah. that's, that's what, you know, mate, that's, that's, as you jumped to that for a reason. Let me, let me look at that for a second. I like that because. Is is it is sowing and reaping, right? Yeah. Is is what the enemy is trying to sow something else in us. Yeah. To to, to take us off track, but he he is uh 
Jesus, I'm saying if you think about it, if we're talking about the word, and we're talking about the fact is that Jesus battled, since this is these scriptures are an example, Jesus mm -hmm. battled with the word, right? And and like you say right here, the and, and he he tried to get him at at uh when you even think about it, when he got baptized, he was immediately taken into the taken wilderness. to the wilderness. I mean the, the spirit took him there. And 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 he was tempted 40 days. Yes. Yes, Forty days. A, I mean, I used to read that and think that okay, at the end of it, and exactly that's my mentality too. At the end of it, but but it says for forty days he 40 was days. tempted of he, the devil. Yes, sir. And you know the scripture that goes with that is say he was tempted at all points. Yeah. So I guess all those forty days, it was all kind of things. It was tempted. Yeah, you I can know? only imagine. Come on, I mean, and I, then, I, and then, I then, can't then, imagine to be right. honest with you. Let me correct that. I can't even imagine what was going, you know, what the enemy was was throwing at him all that time. And well, you know, trying I, to I, wear him down and wear him down with little things, little things, probably. And then he yeah. gets to where he's at the end of of of, of going of, through all that. Now I'm gonna give you these three yeah. big ones, and that's when why that, I thought when wondering that, whether that, those three that, big that, ones that, have some significance to them. Yeah, when that flesh is at its end. Yeah, yeah. you know. And uh, then he goes, throw those at him. Yeah. So all the other temptations, all I know is he was tempted at all points. Yeah. And the scripture said, there's no temptation such as that which is common unto man. So we know that they were common. That's why I said, you can't imagine. Yeah. But, you know, what's, what was tempting to you may not be what has been attempted to him. Yes. But obviously those things were still brought to him for temptation. Yes. You know? Um, but I like the fact so so yes, I think you 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 hit some money on the fact is, and I just wanted to key that I think that key piece was able. That he's able. Staggering Abraham knew he was able to 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 perform that which he promised. And I think we just need to understand. He's able. I like that song coming about, you know, he's able. <laughs> that, that's what's coming to my mind. He's able. And, and, and so I think God said he wants you to keep tracking on that and, and meditating on that. Yeah. Because you, he, he wants you to do, like you said, I don't want to stagger. And I think stagger or not is by coming up with what's written. Because that's how he responded. Yes. What's written. And if we, if we can get to that point, brother, I think we're making our money. We're making a we're making that that concerted effort to to tell the Lord I'm a I'm a I'm a what do you call it? all in yeah. with in, 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 in poker. I'm going all in. All in, one hundred percent. Huh? 100%. Because he's able. Yes. <laughs> he's staggered. That, that 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 should make it easy. Yes, sir. It really should. You know, if 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 he said it. He's able to perform it. It's just and, that simple. And, and, and it should make it that do, simple. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just saying it, 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 it should be a simple thing. I think so because it's, I think that's a key ingredient of response because what people try to do is, is they tell God through you, uh -huh. which is what they did. Oh, maybe that's why these three stayed up there. You know, those three temptations of Christ. Uh-huh. Is well, no. If you're hungry, you know, what, turn 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 the stone to bread. Yeah, let's do that. Cause cause what what the world does to you or me, and anybody else that's challenging your faith is, well, where where's all these miracles? Where's yeah. where's where I don't I don't what I don't see it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see it. So so uh, I don't think he's gonna do anything for you. Why, why, why are you resting on him? My question back then was said, well, he's able. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm persuaded that he's able. And let me tell you, son, I'm also persuaded that you are not able. I'm also persuaded that I'm not able. I'm yeah. also persuaded that the, 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 the system, the people, the world, the things, the stuff are not able, but he is able. And he therefore, able. I am going with that that is able to bring yeah. you through. Make sense? Makes 
perfect sense. So I stagger not because I just know he's able yeah. to perform what is needed for my situation. And therefore, I'm going to stand on the promises of him. And that's why he's talking about the promises. But I just want to thank God. Could, this is more like, like I said, I, I like to use it <laughs> and, and share with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Here's the fact is, how do we give stack or not? Well, we just talked about the fact is, it's a covenant. Yes. And it's that weapon that Jesus used, which is what is written. Yeah, it is written. It is it is written. written. Current. That's, that's a challenge. current statement. That's not a past tense, you know, like the Bible was written. No, it is, it is written. written. Yeah. It, 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 that was a present statement. He <laughs> yes, wasn't sir. talking about, you was know, written. it is. was written. It, Come on. It, that was written, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Abraham. <laughs> no, it is. It is written. written. Yeah. You know, I think another one that was really good to add to you, Brother Addison, as we wrap it up here, uh, is this. If you heard from him, your spirit, like we were talking about the going to the hospital or whatever, if you heard from him, mm -hmm. nothing, that, that just is more, that probably is more powerful than, that, than yeah, what's written. There's nothing to persuade you against it. <laughs> it really isn't. You know, I, I remember one of the first times I vividly heard God speak to me when I was sitting up meditating. And uh, it was on Malachi 310. I'll mm. never forget. I was mm. laying there and just meditating and just asking God about it, you know, because I was going to I was going to uh, teach on that. Yes, sir. And um. And I'm like, what, what, what are these windows? Uh -huh. You know, how, 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 how can, how can these, what, where are these windows at? What, how can these windows be open and, and pour me out a blessing that I don't have room enough to receive? And I just kept just meditating on that. And so God just began to speak to me I'm like, what, what's a window? What's a, ooh. You know, just, just like that, just those simple, what is a window? And I'm like, something you can see out of, you know, and you can see in. He's like, yeah, you can see out of and you can see in. He says, so what can you see into heaven? Well, you know, what, what allows you to see in that? And I was, then he told me, he said, my word is the window. And I will open my word to you and pour you out a blessing that you do not have enough room to receive. Wow. So that has stuck with me from back in, in, in the, the, like the early, I mean, well, the late eighties when he, I, I can see it in my mind's eye right now, just laying there and him showing me that because there's no other way we can see in the heaven mm. other than his word. Yes, sir. Does it, and there is, is I, and I given them that word. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the blessings that are entailed in it, there is no room mm. to receive all the blessings of God. Come on. You can't contain them. There, there's no room to receive them all. And in your words, paint pictures. Yeah. Words paint pictures. Yeah, and I even looked. I, I man, I looked that stuff up in the in the the Greek and the Hebrew, you know. And I remember that the window was Latisse, and then uh, how the windows were back in that time. They were like slats, you know, or they were uh, leather covered with leather, you know, mm -hmm. opening covered with leather, and so you really couldn't see. And if it was the slats. The vision through the slats was distorted, mm. you know, and so and and then that made it even more pronounced, um, you know, uh, profound to me that he would pull that back so that I can openly see, yeah, into his word, wow, you know, and get these revelations, and it's been like that ever since then. Yes, sir. That lines up with the the remember he told uh, Miriam and uh, Aaron. 
if there's a prophet among you, I'll speak to him in visions and dreams, right? And 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 God speaks yeah. to us constantly through his word. And to hear his voice, remember that yes. uh, Bishop was he talking really about did to hear his voice. And, and remember when you talk about uh, flesh and blood did not reveal that to you, Peter? Yes. It yes. revealed to you from my father. So he's constantly talking to us. And I yep. think that's why I said, so I think if, and, and, and we know on the, on the natural level, there's some people that if their, their word is their bond, if they say they're going to do this, they're going to do, do it. it. You yeah. know what I mean? So you stagger not. You say, he told me to be here at, at, at five o'clock. Yeah. And then he's going to be here at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I'm showing up because he told me to be here at five o'clock. You know? And if he ain't going to be here, and look, he's able to be here at five o'clock. Yeah. But, but if he can't, if he, if he ain't, I'm still going to wait on him because I assume he'll call me. He'll get through to me. He'll get somebody else to show up on my behalf. But he's going to be where he's going to be. This is the and thing. he's going to do what he says he's going to do. Yeah. But if I'm there, come on, now. he's there. <laughs> come on. And if I'm there, God, he's there. Yeah. yeah. And that's what he says. So he staggered not. Back to your scriptures again. He staggered yeah. not staggered at the not promises at the of God. He's.